Hello everyone, it's Yolanda. I am back to share with you my newest holiday craft boutique project that I'm working on. And I'm super excited to share with you. I'm not completely done with all of them, but I thought I would just share what I have right now. So, I know a lot of you have seen these type of tins. They're just like an Altoid tin. Uh, a friend of mine gave me, I want to say about 25, between 25 and 30 of them. I have a bag full. She gave them to me a couple years ago and she thought, hey, you can turn them into something crafty. But so they've sat in my craft room for a couple years and I wanted to use them up, do something with them. And I'm trying to make my holiday projects with stuff that I have in my um, stash already so that one, I'm not spending any money buying anything and two I can kind of declutter and de-stash a little so I kind of killed two birds with one stone with this one so I've seen in the past where people have um, made accordion type of journals or scrapbooks I don't know what what they're called but um, you know you cut paper to fit in here and you accordion fold which I'm, I'm, I'm gonna show you what I've done but I'm just giving you the what I've seen in the in the past um, or that's pretty much all I've seen made with these, not unless you get into like kid crafty type things, but when it comes to paper crafting, that's what I've seen people use these for, or even like little collage assemblage type things. But I wanted to do something similar to the journal style. So I created these, so far I just have five. Um, little mini, I'm not sure what to call them because I don't know if I could should call them journals. Um, I'm going to show you what's inside right now, but um, yeah, I've got five done so far. These two still need something added, so I'm only going to show you the inside of these three. So I'll move these out of the way. So I wanted to um, do some faith-based, you know, um, like maybe like a little prayer journal, something along that line, because I'm using this Simple Stories stack. It's called Faith. And I thought, you know, this could be like a little tin where I, you could fill it with like your prayers or maybe you're having a hard time or you could write, you know, so it's just always good helps to write things out. You could write scripture, anything. But uh, what I've done is I covered the front with some of that pattern paper. I matted it with another uh, piece of the paper, die cut some felt flowers and I stamped a scripture on the front. Now, I think these would be great for little gifts, uh, stocking stuffers. They'd be great by your bed on your nightstand. They'd be great at work on your desk, anywhere. It's just something small and cute. You can, you can even just carry it around in your purse. So what I've done is I, first of all, glued in, hot glued in a little piece of ribbon so that it'd be easy to pull these out. And all of them are pretty much the same type of um, things inside with the exception I just change up what I put on the front of these. So what I've done is I've taken regular cardstock, I've taken some of the pattern paper from that collection, and I've cut it down. They're all the same size to fit in here. And like for instance, this one's a little card and it says, be still. And um, I just die cut a flower. And then I just alternated um, pattern paper and regular cardstock. And some of them have lines stamped on the back for you to write. Some don't. Actually, I think in this one, I think every one of them has lines. But I just alternated it. And you can do whatever, you know. You can write on, you can put whatever you want, but this is just what I've done so far. I stamped scriptures. This is another card. You know, maybe someone's going through a particularly rough time. You can give it to them, include a note that they could use it, like to jot down their feelings or scriptures that, you know, really help them. Okay, now this is um, a little accordion type of little book. I included that and the back is covered as well. So you can journal, you can, you know, glue down a picture, you can... Um, put anything. I mean, if you have like your little memorabilia. So that's what I've done. This is another card. So in each of them, I have included 
three cards that are folded, one of the little accordion folded books, and then eight sheets of um, pattern paper, and then four of um, the cardstock with something stamped on them. Okay, so that's that one. Fits right in there. And then I found in my stuff, I had printed a while back, I had made some gratitude journals and I had printed a, or typed and printed a grateful heart. So I had a bunch of these. I also have another one called Top Secret Stuff. So I said, oh, I'll make little gratitude tins. So I did, it's just, just the same thing. I just switched up the wording. So I'm still using that same um, paper pad. I die cut flowers because I have a ton of felt. And we'll just go through this one real quick so you can see. This one I stamped grateful for this. So this is great for like a memory, you know, if it's something, if you need more room to write than like one of these cards. And I uh, switched the orientation of the this cardstock and I stamped lines and I stamped the word gratitude so you can write things that you're grateful for, which we all need to be reminded of. And like I said, some of these have lines, some don't. This is a little card, it says moments big and small. This one says happy little moments. And then another of those little accordion books or whatever, I don't know what to call them, cards. Today's blessings and gratitude. So. I did that and they all fit perfectly in there except when I'm trying to do it gracefully on camera and this one it's similar I just wanted to show you this first card because I just um, used I have this Sizzix Thinlets set and I used a little tab one of the little tabs from in there it's a really cute set and I just um, cut it out of the pattern paper and then stapled it on. This little stamp is from one of the um, Illustrated Faith stamp sets from Hobby Lobby. It's this one it says, live in the moment, appreciate life, be here now. And I just stamped it. This little um, cream colored cardstock was just a scrap. And um, yeah, stapled it on, added it on there. So, oh no, where did, oh there it is. I was like, oh no, I lost a ribbon. So, so I am going to be cranking these out because I had some other brilliant themes. Well, not brilliant, but <laughs> cool themes, I guess. I thought you can do them for um, birthdays, like a special event. Since people print their own pictures at home, these are perfect for like those little mini pictures. Um, recipes, I thought this would be a great idea if you want to give um, like secret family recipes, if you want to pass them on to like, you know, your daughter, your son, if you want to you know, make it special because you can put the recipe in here and then you can write memories about it. You know, you can put pictures, um, even like a few different, you know, recipes. And I thought that'd be a great thing to give my girls and my boys. Well, my girls, I have four daughters. So I thought, well, that is such a great gift because this is small. It would be a keepsake and maybe even include like, you know, some pictures of us. I just thought that'd be a, a great idea. It could be for a new mom. You could make like mom theme. You could give mommy advice, um, encouraging words. You know, um, I know my daughter just had a baby four months ago and you know, in the beginning was like a little rough. Um, you could write, you know, just fine, encouraging um, quotes, stories, whatever, you know, and put them in there. And um, yeah, so I have five, almost done. These two, I just have to add those little accordion books. So what I've been doing is um, cutting, um, let me show you. I just cut a whole bunch and I'm going to tell you all of this with the exception of the pattern paper that I cut from that stack. All of this was scraps that I had that were still a pretty good size. And what I do is I just go through them and I cut them all out. I still have to corner around these cut them all out and then I cut out the pattern paper. I've already made a few of these. 
have them all ready. They just have to be corner rounded. And then I just go through and start cutting and gluing. And I think now that I have like the, um, the flow down, like how much of what I'm putting in what and the sizes and everything, I think I should be able to breeze through these. But um, tell me what you think. My husband said, how about mini tin journals? Um, I don't know what to call them. So if somebody gives me a brilliant idea, I just might have to have a giveaway because I don't know what to call them. So anyhow, thanks for watching. I will be back. Uh, most likely my next video will be upstairs in my sewing room and I will give you a sewing update and show you some of the fun stuff I've been embroidering um, for my craft fairs. So thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video. Subscribe and give me a thumbs up and see you in the next one. Bye.